Hello, this is Benjamin John Pope, and this is an update on the media player that I'm working on using Adobe Animate Action Script for Adobe, Adobe Animate and HTML for the website, which will then be royalty free portfolio, portfolio of my work and stuff you can buy and stuff you get for free but what we're doing is we're having a look at how the media player is being developed and changing from Adobe Flash CS6 to Adobe Animate right let's go straight to it and we're going to go to the art section of the site this is still a symbol symbols are still made in the exact same way so if we go inside the symbol we see a timeline with these purple arrows or animations and these are buttons still and this originally was a slideshow which I'm going to have to change Every little A on there that you can see is action script applied to that layer. So this here has been changed so much that we we'll go to the question mark button, go to window and go to actions. This is the code now. Previously it would have been on press go to and play info one which it still is but now it's this dot go to and play because we're referring right like I said variable this equals this this dot button info one double click function makes this dot function which is go to and play info one I know it sounds a bit weird or whatever but when you understand variables and stuff like that um, which you can learn from my website when it's finished and you can get free tutorials you can get presentations like this for free and free tutorials are obviously free but what that does that code is sent it to somewhere in the timeline to play that frame label and then play the animation that was in the timeline which was made in the timeline and on layers so like you can see this is all animated double click now the artwork double click the photo and vector double click the question mark and there you go it comes down title a little piece of what it's about how much it costs that's just there it's going to be a lot different but that's there just to give me a borderline brain mapping synopsis you know synopsis basically double click the x disappears there you go i have to change the animation a bit to keep it static so when you double click it won't go up and down twice but that's all working the animation's working and that's all I basically wanted to show you but we can talk a little bit more about Adobe Animate I think so <coughs> at the moment I'm studying a foundation degree in software programming and networking next year I get to specialize in software development and as you can see I know a bit already but I should be able to make it totally dynamic it's dynamic anyway but I want to be able to call upon a database to change it I want to call upon my own server to have my own media or media uploaded to a server which is then using a database that changes the video 
and calls it to the document rather than it being embedded inside of the document. Yeah, so that is basically it. And, well, like always, thank you for listening.